Hey, Pint. Hey, Smeg. What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Oh, pretty good, man. Glad to be back. How's it going, Actatus? What's up, dude? Going pretty well, man. Going pretty well. <laughs> I would just like to point out real quick, because people are going to notice this, that apparently we're having problems uh, pulling from the Minecraft server or something, because uh, at least on my screen, everybody looks like Steve. So, uh... That's right, you look like some glasses, uh, glasses freak up on my screen. I would like to point out that, uh, with the wonderful Bibliocraft, I have crafted some glasses, so I do look a... Actually, with the beard, I actually look very close to, uh, what I do. Um, hi. Uh, so real quick, I'd like to, uh, point out that, um, uh, in our house, or our little base, I have built a bookshelf. And if you, uh, hover over the bookshelf, it will tell you what book it is. And uh, you can place and take away books at your uh, leisure by uh, control right-clicking. Or you can right-click the bookshelf like this and actually place them physically, and they'll show up on the shelf uh, the way you push them. Or, I'm sorry, the way you place them. I put an anvil in here real quick so we can repair if we need to. Uh, and as you can see, I've replaced the, uh, the roof and the outside. It took forever uh, to take care of the meteor showers from last time. Uh, Actanis, anything new with you, buddy? Um, I don't think so, actually. I haven't been able to, to get onto the server for a few days, so it's, it's kind of nice seeing what's, uh, what's been changed. Awesome. Pete, uh, where did you go? Uh, I'm over by, uh, by the handy-dandy new train station. Okay. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to show that uh, the forestry building itself is done. Uh, it's got an uh, open glass ceiling, and uh, I'll start putting... Uh, some machines and whatnot in it pretty soon. And as you can see, the factory is now on its way to being built. The first floor is done. Uh, very much looks like it's under construction. And actually, uh, Pint and I came through, what, yesterday and built the two subfloors? Which is, we did, yeah. It's kind of backwards that we would build the, uh, the basement and the subfloor uh, before we did the rest of the building, but that's okay. I'm... I'm if you remember right, the reason we did is because I wouldn't stop whining about uh, needing that in order to go further with uh, my train design, and finally you just you got tired of listening to it. I God, think. you really do need you really do need medication. I um, yeah. And uh, a couple of really quick things uh, because I was very confused about the meteors mod from last time. Um, we we added some of those red gems you can get from the meteors, which charged these up quickly and made them a bit more powerful. So now they've got these big beam of lights that go up, showing that they're fully charged. And the color of the beam actually changes to reflect uh, what meteor has struck last that it protected from. And uh, we were in such a panic to get these done, and all three of these are like this purplish color, which means that no meteors have struck the shields. So go figure that. Yeah, well, favors are prepared, my friend. If we would not have put them up, lo and behold, we would have had destroyed buildings. You are absolutely correct. And uh, we did build build the meteor timer, um, or the you know that goes off when one is going to crash. But uh, from what I understand, they're a little buggy right now, and it it gives a constant redstone signal, which it's not supposed to do. It's only supposed to light up when one's going to hit. So um, on a, and I would I would just like to point out very quickly that we actually after we filmed. We went out and tried used our detectors to try to find a meteor that was going to crash. And we were out there for, like, what, 20 minutes standing in the spot and never showed up. And then, like, it crashed right after Pete and I left. And so we're back mining stuff. And good old Actatus, who's quite a ways away, way, uses a spawner and drops a meteor on top of us. Uh, just throwing this out there, that video will be out uh, shortly after this one. You do? That's what you said last time, and you never the, about the, uh, the uh, I'm the still TNT. getting Premiere set up on my laptop, though. I mean, I don't have it set up for editing yet. All right, well, I'm it looking would... forward to that. But I, I would just like to point out, just because it was so funny, that Pete threw the biggest, biggest baby fit I've ever seen when he lost oh. everything he had, which I'd like to also point out last time, that we had a discussion about the fact that you were going around digging shit and you have like stacks of crap in your backpacks and we keep screaming about you to to take it back and throw it in the stuff so you don't lose it and you had like what like a stack of diamonds a bunch of krechnerite and a bunch of stuff yeah. in there so uh i did yeah let that be a lesson to you okay so let's uh i'm gonna go ahead and showcase the rail yard that i put together complete with signs that this 
is a whistle track, so when the train goes over it, it will uh, cause the train to boot hoop blow its whistle, which is pretty amazing. What do those look like? Is that these things right here? Yeah, yeah, it's whistle track. It forces a train to blow its whistle. That way uh, it's warning you when it's coming into the yard and warning you when it's going into the tunnel and coming out of the tunnel. So uh, These switches can be right-clicked, and you see the little track there, switch direction, so we can kind of play around with that. Coming up here, we see that uh, stay straight for engine refuel and tender loading. I've set up some is that rain tender, catchers. Is that tender, like, you know, stroke my hair gently? E no. Okay. No, it's it's like a like a water tender, like it holds coal and water for a steam engine. Oh, okay. Look at like these tanks are gigantic, and these are the rain. <laughs> these are your rain catchers, right? This is uh, completely filled with just rain, actually, because for some reason you can't pick a server that doesn't rain nine tenths of the time. It does rain a lot, doesn't it? But uh, I think uh, what all three of these rain uh, tanks are full, and then all of your. You got what? What are those redstone engines hooked up so it pumps it out? Yeah, and then if you continue over this direction, this is actually all diesel. Um, because you started planting sugarcane early on, I have been using the sugarcane uh, to make diesel from this machine right here, the distillation tower, which is uh, part of Terrain Craft. You just put the sugarcane in there with a little bit of charcoal or coal, whatever. You get a 25% chance of plastic, which we use then to make containers, and then it also makes diesel. And I've had to keep expanding these because I, I keep filling it up uh, while we're offline. So when you come inside, I've got some gates set up and oh, some nice. couches. And then if you don't come through the door, but you come up to the window, uh, you can see that I've got the times for the mine access, the BR-80-101, which is the train you saw over there. When it departs and arrives, and then uh, that little nice little all-ticket sales final blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. and that, this, is very, this is a very sweet thing. You put a meteor shield down for this area, too? I did, yeah, because if I wouldn't have uh, guaranteed, something would have dropped, and, and I'd have been crying like sure. a, a little too. And actually, little. there's a looks like the remnant of a meteor impact right here, actually, so it's probably good. And then it basically leads underground and uh, leads to the bottom floor, I'll just be quick here, of the factory, which is where all the offloading will occur. And Smeg and all his infinite wisdom has marked out where he wants stuff to be. Uh, so here is subfloor number two. And that kind of completes what we've been working on. All right, so um, you actually had told me uh, not too long ago that you needed uh, some specific... Uh, materials that were not of this world, and we had several uh, several meteors that crashed that actually provided us with portals that we actually didn't have to build. And uh, while we were uh, taking care of meteor stuff last time, you actually went and built a nice little um, area where we can enter one of the portals. Did you just did you just get in that train? I did. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm gonna take the train over there. Okay. Uh, I think, I think we can walk. Yeah. <laughs> Navigate the, uh, the sheep minefield. <laughs> That's a lot of animals, isn't it? Can we strap bombs to sheep? I don't know, but that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I did want to point sheep. out that I kind of struggled because in the default view, you can't see anything out of these trains. And if you just F5 it, you can switch the view and actually be able to see out. This is a lot of freaking track, dude. Like, you uh, you really had some serious time on your hands. Uh, that would be all the creosote. You were laughing at me, like, expanding those tanks and making tons of creosote, but it's required to make the track, and the only reason I've been able to do this is because we've had so much of it. I'd like to point out that I'm actually already here. I'm not sure where you're at in your train, but oh, I see you. Uh, we're going to the nether, yes? Yes, sir. That's... Should we bring food? Actually, I believe Paint has uh, set up uh, a resource system uh, or some resource storage here from last time that's got, I think, everything we probably need. Goddamn, guys, thought of everything, eh? Yeah, right? So, um... We were not able to cross-pollinate crops to create beer, so not quite everything. Um... Yeah, we Close might. Close enough. 
Okay, so this is kind of cool. So uh, is, do we just get in here and just take some stuff? Yeah, just uh, kind of grab what you need. Uh, I haven't put everything in here. I did a lot of iron stuff since uh, we have a lot of iron, and I knew if I did a bunch of diamond tools, uh, Actatus wouldn't use them anyway because uh, he lived through the Great Diamond Depression, and uh, he would wouldn't want to waste them on tools. So. Okay, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take a few stacks of uh, whoa, not that many inventory tweaks there. Uh, I'm going to take a few stacks of cobblestone if you guys want to also, because I think what we'll do is uh, we'll encase the uh, the portal um, in cobblestone, and uh, that way, because the gas on the other side can uh, can damage it, and then if we need to make uh, stairs or whatever, we can do it there too. You guys got the wood and everything too? Let me... No, wait, I got some wood. There's plenty here huh. if you need it. For Frodo! Engage the Nethermare! <laughs> okay, here we are. Any gas right here? I don't hear anything. Shit, we didn't bring cobble, did we? You guys we got did. cobble? Wow. Okay, surround this thing in cobble if you can. Was I. Did I not key up when I said that? Uh, I'm not sure. You might not have. Uh, careful how, like, which side are we coming at? Which side did we come out of? Uh, this side. Holy god, what are you doing, dude? Throwing some cobble at you. Dave, I, I dare you to hit it. Come at me, broski! Oh my god, you're gonna aggro all the pigmen. Good. Now that they're distracted, let's slip through. And those Shit. are the last uh, words of Peen Protector of All. Well, issue is, is, I got such a terrible frame rate right now. I need to drop my uh, my draw distance even further. What the ah! hell? Whoa, Dan, whoa, wait, get what? away from me. Uh, I'm stuck in a spot. Awesome, deck. they're on me too. You know, what I just realized I do not have the what? location of the Nether portal. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, I, I'm, it's, I'm glitched. I'm gonna have to. Uh, hey, remember switch. when you weren't glitched and then you attacked the pigmen? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Maybe you need to log out Day back 40... in, dude. I attempt to find the Nether Fortress. Just follow the 25-mile uh, train track. Oh, okay, it's along the train track. I'm following along Plantation House. It's uh, ah. it's west, I think, of the uh, train track or the uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a this is a good way to start out our another adventure. Do do you have my sword by chance? Oh Christ! This breeds good feelings for this let's play. We here at Rainicott Pictures are professionals, clearly. He dared me to do it, dude. I could not do it, right? I mean, it's a moral imperative. I mean, that's that's like kindergarten playground rule, like number one. You're the adult. I, what what does being an adult have anything to do with a dare? Like, I, I guess I don't understand. That's the problem. Well, uh, Actatus, shall we strike off? I think we maybe should. I, can we, you got a good direction? Because I've got no, uh, no view distance right now. Uh, this looks good, but, uh, I hope I brought some cobblestone so I can lay some, uh, stuff down here. Uh, make sure you grab some of this nether rack, would you, if you happen to mine it, because, uh, we're gonna need it for, to make, uh, steel. Did you hear what I said? 
Let's face it, it's Paint. He doesn't hear anything. He's got tunnel vision right now. Yeah. I, di I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? I have a couple of stacks of cobble. Do you want it? Uh, no, I, I, I've got five stacks. I think I'm good. Didn't he say we needed cobble? Did I hear him wrong? Engage the soul sand. Ooh, and soul sand. Where? Oh, look at that. Oh, I might have taken some of your food, too. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm out of food. And a bunch of, like, what is this crap? Why would you take 64 redstone torches into the nether? I I forgot. Oh, I have a miner. I have a woven miner's backpack too. That's yours. Oh yeah, don't don't oh, don't be hating it. on my miners. And it looks like a diamond pickaxe. That's yours too. And some scaffolding. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it in this chest. Make sure I gotta grab a good chunk of this uh, soul sand. We need that too. Give me my ore, damn it. Oh man, that has been nerve wracking. Okay, so again, we're striking out in search of a nether fortress. Uh, yep. You want to explain why, Paint, why we're looking for one of those? Oh yeah, uh, basically, in order to make steel, uh, because they found it was far too easy before, you have to go to the nether, obtain nether rack... Uh, nether sand or soul sand and also obtain blaze rods which only come from blazes which we can only get if we uh, find a fortress we can I mean I guess we could also get them what are those slime nether slimes they're not a slime but they're uh, magmas yes you can get them from them too so if you look on my screen <laughs> there it is. Uh, you'll see these really weird looking ores um, that kind of look a bit different from netherrack, but you got that little bit of netherrack in it. Whoa, easy. Watch your uh, watch your step here. 